Peace, love and blessings to your family. What's up y'all? I hope you and yours are doing well. This is yours Mogi. And right now, you're tuned into Mogi's Corner. Thank you so much for keeping it right here on Mogi's Corner. Thank you so much for supporting. And uh, yeah, keeping the things going right here because without your support, I am nothing and uh, nothing gets done. So today, this is a special delivery. Special request from a special supporter and a special delivery today. Uh, I'm taking you to show you Madivani Road in Ginger City. I told you guys, this is how we roll. You make a request, I deliver. Special request uh, deserves a special delivery. And uh, guys, make sure you support, uh, you support the thing. Click uh, the subscribe button. All right. Make a one-time donation by super thanks, super chat, whatever you want, you want to do. PayPal. Hit me up right there uh, or join the channel by clicking the join button. Uh, consider becoming a paying member. All right, guys. So I've been working on uh, some special things. All right. Best kept secret at the moment. I'll be revealing what I've been working on. Uh, but today, let's go and see Madivani Road. Watch. Peace, love and blessings, dear family. We are starting this video right here on Nile Avenue. Uh, I've been on this road before. All right. See where the camera is, is, uh, is pointing. That's the, uh, that's the finish line or that's the end of Magua Road. And then the beginning of Madivani Road in this direction. And then the direction from which I am coming, that's Nile Avenue, all right? Today, I'm showing you Madivani Road. Like I said, one of my special supporters, special viewers requested this video. And uh, why not? This is how we do it. So we are going on Madivani Road in this direction. I want to dedicate this video to all the former dwellers. Uh, if you were working or living on Madivani Road and you're watching this video, please drop, uh, drop, a, drop a comment. Don't forget to like, share, and also leave a comment if you're watching. And if you're watching uh, this video right here on Mugi's Corner for the first time, please I request you, I kindly, I kindly request you to subscribe. Don't be a stranger, but also click the notifications bell so that you never miss any video. So, Madivani Road, we are here. So, Madivani Road, Madivani Road, plot 31. So, this is a... Uh, I don't know what this road is popular for, okay, but there is a market, Madivani market. Mm -hmm. See them washed up buildings. They're really in a de deteriorated state. And right here, guys, this is a special place. This is Whispers, Whispers Pediatric Hospital, Whispers Children's Hospital. And uh, see, one time I was talking to my friend, uh, Mr. John, and Mr. John, I and him, you know, we were, you know, talking about some things about this hospital, the special things, major surgical theater, the private parking, or whispers clients only, it's a children's hospital, whispers mas magical, oh wow. It's a magical hospital as well. So expect magic if you bring your child for medication right there. Anyway, I and my friend Mr. John, big up Mr. John if you're watching this video. 
uh, we, we talked about uh, the fact that at this hospital, I mean, they're doing some incredible job. That's undeniable. But also what is uh, more special or what makes it even, I don't know, exceptional is that it's a modern hospital and you don't find very rich people there. You find very average or common Ugandans, right? Waiting to receive medical care for their children, right? And that is very special because uh, normally in Uganda, or, or what is normal in Uganda is that if you find a, a modern or very nice facilities, uh, be it a hospital, school, hotel, whatever the case is, so you expect only rich people to to have access to that uh, area or that uh, institution. Okay, but for this hospital mainly, it's the poor people you find there, you know, waiting to give uh, medical, to receive medical care for their children. So it's very affordable. Uh, the service is quality, you know, at least from the testimonies. Uh, guys, if you're watching and uh, you have an experience or you, uh, you have brought, you have ever brought your child or children to receive medical care uh, at this hospital, Whispers Magical Children's Hospital, please like, uh, leave a comment. Tell us what you know about this magical hospital. Is it really magical as the word says, as the, as the sign says, or it's a, it's a branding? All right, so right here, the camera is facing that uh, special market. This is Madivani Market. I made a video inside this market. If you haven't watched it and you would like to watch it, I encourage you to please uh, look, through, look through the videos. It's one of my earliest videos. I came to this market and a uh, special place uh, with special people as well. All right. There you have Madivani Market. Mm-hmm. It appears I have run out of what to say. I was rapping. I was going on a on a rampage, rapping like ah, unending. But now I seem to have run out of what to say. But anyway, it's uh, it's it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Ginger is a beautiful city, all green, all yeah. You know, it's not just green. It's not just the green. You know what I'm saying that uh, we are talking about right here, but green all year, you know, drought, rainy season, whatever the case is, the beauty never fades. And uh, that's the thing about the natural beauty, you know. We're not talking about fake beauty here, you know, all cosmetics and them things there. Now, nah, man, it's natural beauty we are dealing with right here. And that's the green I'm talking about. So anywhere you go, all year long, rainy season, drought, or dry season, call it whatever you want to, the green never fades. And that's the natural beauty that I'm talking about. All right, guys. So this, um, this Madivani Road, uh, I think, uh, I'll be honest, I think this is my first time on this Madivani road. We have Malian Innovative Technologies. Looks like they have uh, solutions for water storage. Uh, water reservoirs, tanks, and them things there. We have a school right here. Uh, it's, a, it's a residential stroke uh, offices. We have some schools, we have a market, we have uh, residential houses. It's a mixture, but uh, in a clean and quiet environment. I like it still. I really like it. So guys, let me know what you think about uh, this Madivani Road.
Now the other um, the other thing that I would I would want us to discuss, people, is uh, you know these roads being named after non-Ugandans. You know, it's on very very rare occasions that you go in the city and find a road named after Ugandans. So this Madivani, you can research him if you want to. I'm not interested, but uh, Madivani is an Indian, or was an Indian. And these guys keep being honored, they keep being, uh, you know, getting all them um, monumental things. But what about Ugandans? So, guys, let's talk about this. Is it fair for these roads to be named after non-Ugandans? Like uh, Madivani Road, I usually bring you uh, videos and uh, often talk to you about, you know, kind of little background or the meaning of the, of the villages or the roads or whatever that I show you. But this time, talk to me. Do you think it's fair for these roads to be named after non-Ugandans? You know what I'm saying? All right, so this is the end of uh, mm, Madivani Road, all right? So when you go left right here, I don't know what road this is. Hello, sir. Good morning. Do you know what road this is? This is Gokali. This is Gokali Road. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, so I'm going up Madivani. Madivani Road. So, right, people, we came all the way from... Uh, Nile Avenue stroke Magua Road and then uh, I've been showing you okay let me turn the camera we came all the way from uh, the junction is it the junction of uh, Nile Avenue Magua Road and and then onto Madivani Road and then right here we arrived at Gokali Road as the elder told me I didn't know what this road is anyway uh, in this direction you know, just ahead of me, where I'm pointing, all right? There. Uh, it's uh, it's um, Gokali Road and then on to Lubogo Road. Let me know if you would like to see Gokali Road or Lubogo Road. Which one would you like to see next? And then, uh, so, you can see this is the end of uh, this video. All right, guys, so let me know, is it fair? To keep naming these roads or these monumental things uh, after non Ugandans, giving them, honoring them, uh, you know, doing such things, or should they instead honor Ugandans? These are Ugandan roads, name them after Ugandans. Anyway, like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, click the notifications bell so that you never miss a video. Otherwise, Peace, love and blessings. I'm out.